Hello and welcome to another unboxing. Uh, today we are unboxing a package from MiniZoo, which is a store we've never gotten any models from before on the channel. Uh, and this is entirely PNSO stuff, uh, specifically from their mini range. So appropriate enough that we got it from MiniZoo, I suppose. Okay, there we have it. Uh, so I've got nine or ten of them in here. I think it was originally nine and then I added one. Wow, okay, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff. Not a lot of packing to go through though because these guys actually all come in their own individual nice little packages. So let's just take them out one by one and take a look. I probably will take them out of their packages for this video, uh, but we'll look at them in package first. So first of all, we have Paulwin the Dacosaurus. Oh, that's, that's a lovely little thing. Okay, next we have Lands the Impelosaurus which he's actually smaller than I was expecting, which makes this figure even more impressive. It's just a very nicely done little sauropod. Next up we have Mau Mau the May, and then we have, ah oh, yes, this is Fan the Nyctosaurus. Next we have Becky the Ophthalmosaurus, which I primarily got because I plan to be getting the larger figure, Brooke the Ophthalmosaurus from the Scientific Art series, uh, possibly later this year. So I thought I would get the mini one to go with it. Next up, ah, this is a very fitting next one to look at. This is Nada the Spinosaurus, who I picked up entirely just to go with Essien, the scientific art Spinosaurus. Next up, we have Abel the Cosmoceratops, which is the only Ceratopsian I picked up from this series. Uh, just looked like the best of the bunch to me, even though there are a handful to choose from there. And we only have two more. Here is the one I'm most excited for, Tracy the Nemecolopterus. And finally, I don't even remember which, ah, yes, of course. This is Zomba the Himalayasaurus, another interesting ichthyosaur. Let's get the box out of the way. Oh no, never mind. Oh wow. Uh, oh yes, Morris the Aranosaurus. It's actually a very nice one as well. So I just attempted to show opening these guys all up out of their little individual packages, but it was very long and boring, so you're never going to see it ever in your life. The epic behind the scenes footage will never be revealed. Um, but anyhow, uh, I will go through them real quick just to show them out of the packaging. Here we have, oh yeah, lighting helps. Uh, here we have the Oranosaurus. Here we have the Empelosaurus. Quite detailed for its size, if my camera will function like a camera. Uh, this one seems especially well made to me at least. Uh, here we have the Himalayasaurus. Uh, the quite attractive looking Alphthalmosaurus. Next up we have the Dacosaurus, which I actually really like the general design of. I think this one looks nice. Next up we have the May, which is a very lovely little figure. Then the Juvenile Spinosaurus, or Hatchling Spinosaurus, looking at its size, at least if we're scaling it with the scientific art model. Very well done as well. Here is the Cosmoceratops. Then we have the Nyctosaurus, who doesn't stand particularly well, uh, but quite a striking design and my favorite has to be the gorgeously painted and wonderfully made little Nemi Coleopterus. Uh, we also have these posters that come in all the packages. Apparently there was a time where you sort of had to destroy these and cut them up just to get them out and actually open them. Uh, not the case anymore. Thankfully they've updated that design. Uh, here's the art for the May. The art doesn't entirely match the figures, and some of it's kind of interesting. Uh, here's the Cosmoceratops. Here's the Himalayasaurus. Here is the Alphthalmosaurus. Here's the, the uh, not the Nyctosaurus, the Nemecolopterus. This one actually quite precisely matches the look of the model, interestingly enough. Uh, the Dacosaurus is just hilarious looking. I, I don't know what to say. Uh, here's the Ampelosaurus. That one actually looks quite good. Here's the Oranosaurus, fine. Uh, Nyctosaurus, whatevs. And the Spinosaurus as well, which is just an adult Spinosaurus despite not a, I believe, representing a baby. So, kind of interesting. That is about it for this video. Uh, I'm very pleased to have these all in hand. They all look wonderful, especially the Nemecolopterus. I really, really like this little model. And in general, you know, a lot of companies have options for smaller, mini-sized models, but a lot of times those models are just kind of fun and cute at best, whereas PNSO really seems to be putting in really the amount of work into these that they do into their larger stuff. So just really impressive, and I'm glad to have some of their smaller stuff in hand finally. Reviews coming for all of these soon at some point. 
Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.